Hello, traders. Gary Wagner here. It is 1040 a.m. on Friday, the 12th day of August, and this is the daily report for gold. We do have gold continuing on its downward correction, but well, well off the lows for the day, currently trading down about $21 on the day, as you can see, current print, 1745.70. On today, our weekly review, we will cover the week and what a week we have had in the market. I will also talk to you about my belief and conviction of what I think we will see over the next week and couple of weeks to come, all here on today's daily report. First, quick review of the week. And as I said, what a week we've had. And to do that, what we really want to do is start by looking at our daily chart. I'm going to go ahead and pull that up on the board. Of course, we have today's activity, Friday, Thursday, Wednesday, Tuesday, and Monday. This is the gap from Sunday. Sunday here, of course, is Monday in Australia. The key factor in the marketplace really began when the market gapped open and gapped above this current trading point of just above 1650. At that point, it broke above the long-term channel line and created a marketplace that although we had been bullish in our prior times, we really saw an absolute breakout and a breakout above that point. As you can see, when I bring this chart down, how clear it is. Simply what we're doing to get to this point, traders, is we're picking various tops in the market, as you can see right in here, as well as bottom activity to create our channel. And realize that even in a marketplace that's extremely bullish, in a typical, typical format, in a typical market, it will run within the channel and even though it runs within the channel it is moving higher and there's absolutely can be no doubt about that that you see this market going from bottom to top and as it did that since 2008 you can see that this market has moved up from roughly 1700 to a record high above 1800 that we reached this week this kind of parabolic rise that we saw and this relatively small correction based upon that rise, one is healthy, two is to be expected, and three as a staunch bull based upon the fundamentals, it is my belief that this market will continue higher. The fundamentals haven't changed. The fact that it's retraced presents us with a great opportunity to re-enter the market. And that is what one should be focusing on because when you consider what we did over the last couple of weeks and the last couple of trades that we entered realize that on this last trade the first thing that we did was we bought at 1687 and when you consider the marketplace itself let me try to line that up so you can see where we actually were looking at what precipitated that call is a little bit different than what precipitated the ad, which was at 1724. And in both occasions, you can see that we took an area which we had a area of resistance, and the call was issued upon that market breaking above that particular area of resistance. Again, when we added the position, this of course took place on Sunday. The market did gap up, but when it broke through this one critical area, this is a point I issued our buy signal. As I said, 1687. The market came up, of course, it retraced a little bit, and then once it retraced, we had a new benchmark, let's call it, right in here. And as soon as the market overtook that, that is when it signaled to me it was time to add to our position. So we entered our second core position here, our first core position here. This is what we did this week. We were fortunate enough to be able to catch a move and that market rallied to its all-time record high sitting at 
1813 in the spot. Basis December COMEX was 1817, the record high. Our stop was sitting well below here. I moved the stop up. I believe it was to 1760 was the first point I moved the stop. But when I saw the market hit this record top and come down, because there have been so many occasions when we have seen that activity take place, I trailed the stop up very tight to 1785 right in this area. And so we were in here, here. We pulled profits on both here. I believe we took out $150 plus on the trade. It certainly was a good week. Now, the question remains, what do I believe is going to happen next week? And my sentiment is that I want to see a little bit more solid confirmation but I absolutely believe at this point that when the market came up this is a 360 minute chart but when the market came up tested this area and we look at a basic Fibonacci retracement we received a market move down to a 38 percent level today the following 360 had a higher low but as it's still trading, we have not gotten a higher high. So that tells me that we could, in fact, be witnessing a bottom here. But we really don't have strong enough confirmation to act upon it yet for a longer term basis. My market gut is telling me that there's a high probability that this area will hold as support. So where do I think the market's going to go? Well, here's what I'm thinking. Let's look at it this way on a straight Elliott Wave format. Wave 1, Wave 2, Wave 3. I believe that we're probably at the conclusion of Wave 4 and entering Wave 5. That's my feeling. Next question, where do we believe the market's going to go? Well, my personal sentiment right now, as you can see, is that we will now be in 5 of 5. And Wave 5 is typically not the longest of the waves. In pure Elliott wave theory, wave three cannot be the shortest, but it can be equal to any of the other waves. But wave one and wave five are usually roughly the same size. That's not true of the last wave five that we had in gold because that was a incredible wave with extensions. But I don't mind underestimating a move up if I'm long. I do mind underestimating a move if I'm incorrect, obviously. So, my belief right now is we're looking at, on the top end of the market, anywhere between, say, 1860 to maybe 191908. That would be the upper parameters that I believe are achievable right in here. This is where I'm looking for the market to go. The time period, though, that's the very very difficult thing to answer why because this market has moved up so quickly so fast that if you would have asked me prior to these moves do i think we're going to witness these moves in this period of time i would not have thought that to be possible so let me leave you with this thought if in fact we are correct and we have seen a conclusion of wave four then there's a real opportunity to re-enter the market. So we got out at 85. If we re-enter the market at 50 or 55, because we have a nice open and confirmation on Sunday and Monday, we got out, we got in lower. Where do I think we should be able to take this trade to? I think that 1850 is absolutely achievable on the upside once we have solid confirmation that our assumption, and I'm assuming right now that we're near the conclusion of this particular sell-off, I think that this is where we have the opportunity to go 1850. Now, for those who are going to take the devil's advocate and say that, well, what if the market comes down? I will leave you with one question. Has there been any long-term fundamental change in the driving forces of gold that would cause you to believe that you have a key reversal and the market is going to be going into a bearish state now. My answer is my answer. Your answer must remain your answer. But I want you to take that as the question that you pose. Has there been any fundamental changes in the market that would cause the market on a long-term basis, not on a profit-taking correction, to have a key reversal? And let that guide your sentiment for your next trade.
This has been Gary Wagner wishing you as always good trading. Have a great weekend. We'll talk to you on Monday for the next daily update. Bye-bye. Many sights to see And when I look in my window So many different people to be That it's strange